This is an action figure review for Stan Winston series Creatures Blood Wolves Medieval Trek. And here he is already out of the package with his accessories and his base. Let's spin around so you can get the full look. It's pretty massive. Pretty detailed. Nicely painted. Alright. Let's take a look at the figure. Let's start with his accessories first. Comes with his base. Simple, but it looks really good. Bricks. Pig right here for his foot. It's extremely large. Comes with a shield. I think it looks pretty good. It's got like cracks right here from like battle damage. That's pretty cool. Comes with this big massive sword. That is just awesome. Look at that. That is so long. It's um kind of rubbery but not too bendy. It might chip if you bend it far enough. It also comes with this card. Came in the box. Just like his picture and a brief little summary. But yeah. And it also comes with this this knife right here. It's like a dagger. That's pretty cool. Fits right in place. Whoa, sorry. Yeah, it fits in place right there in his pocket. And this helmet. Which is removable. Looks pretty good. The thing is, the helmet doesn't really snap on or anything, so it's just kind of loose. I don't like that. But he still looks good wearing it. I think he looks awesome. Big old feet. That's awesome. It's got like the chain mace right here on this arm, but this arm doesn't. Because it says on his card that he has power in this arm, which makes it stronger than every other, every other anatomy on his body. It's magical or something. But yeah. Articulation-wise, all you can do is you can turn the head, but you can't go up and down. The arms go side to side, up and down. At the elbow, he has a swivel, so it'll just go like this. Can't bend it. And the same with the wrist. He does have waist articulation. Right here at the thigh, has the V-joint. So it's just gonna do this, that's about it. And he has knee articulation so you can bend it. And at the boot, I think, yep, the boot rotates. And that's it. Doesn't have any articulation anywhere else. I think he looks awesome. He's pretty big. Um, approximately, maybe like seven inches, maybe a little more. We'll compare them to other figures. It's DC Universe Ares, and that's Mezco's Hellboy from Hellboy 2, Golden Army. So he's pretty tall. And here's NECA's Castlevania Symphony of the Night Alucard. 
It's really tall. Look at that, it's taller than pretty much everybody. So he's gonna be bigger than like any of your Marvel DC figures. Maybe not some DC Direct. A little taller than some wrestling figures too. But yeah, the hands right here, this one can hold the sword. This one can too, but uh, this one fits a little better in here. I guess it was meant like the picture itself. He's holding the sword with two hands. So it's like he's holding the sword with this one, and this one's just like for support. But I put it in this one because this looks cooler. The one complaint I have though is um, maybe the dagger. I mean, it's good and everything, but it's just kind of loose in there. Like, yeah, it just falls out. But it's not major. Paint's okay. It's not stiff at all. Maybe at the knee, that's about it. Everything else is pretty loose. But yeah, if I were to rate him, um, probably give him a, for me, maybe like a seven or eight. Seven and a half. He's pretty good. I like them. But yeah, if you're wondering about Stan Winston's creatures, figures, I just give you one of them, Medieval Trek. So if you're wondering about his size or articulation or anything, I just give it to you. Alright, thanks for watching.